welcome to the last part of our three part series in this video i'll be focusing more towards the exterior features i do highly recommend that you watch the last two previous videos to understand more or less where we're headed at the moment okay so first we're going to start with our pathway and our driveway so we just go to general add your box make the vertical position to one since you want this to be at the bottom and then resize your pathway to 265 by 530 clone it and now move it to the driveway and resize it to 821 by 393 so now we're making our cross so you can go ahead and clone your pathway, slot it in the remaining space and just resize it to 243, make it green, just try to look for a more realistic type of green, type of cross green. Once you're done with that, you can just clone it and just fill the remaining spaces with your grass patches. Okay, should look at that in 3D. So you can go ahead and clone your driveway and then just slot it right in front of the cross and resize it down to 68. Once you're done with that, you can go ahead and clone your grass and just um, clone it to the outside area. Clone your barrier pathway again and resize it to 44. And then make it um, a tan sort of brownish color. This will be our sand pit. Go ahead and clone your barrier pathway again and just slot it right next to your sand pit. Change the height to 200 and the vertical position to 200. And then clone it onto the other side. Now to make our exterior wall or rather our barrier wall just to be a bit more exciting what we'll do is we'll clone the inside wall panel which we did in the first part of the series and you will and you will move it right down to the corner of our barrier wall and our barrier pathway. So now you can just go ahead and clone it and basically ration it out evenly and repeat this up until you're done with the whole barrier wall. So it should look like this in 3D view. So you can go ahead and clone your color so that all your panels look the same.
all right now you can go ahead and clone your bare wall just to close off the other end of our site space okay now bare wall should look like that now you go to general and add your flower part now we're going to change the vertical position of our flower part to 57 and change the color of the flowers to let's say orange all right now we can move it and slot in our sand pit in between our wall panels and just clone it up until it fills all the space in between our wall panels and then repeat the same process for all the spaces in between your wall panels Now on to making our outdoor fire pit, what you'll do is you'll add your rug. No need to resize it, um, just slot it more or less in front of our living area. Now to stop our rug from flickering, what we'll do is just resize it to 1.1 and that should solve all our problems. Go to living and add your sofa. Go to general and add your box. This will be our table. And make it a, a dark gray color. And just resize it to 185 by 100 and slot it right in front of our sofa. Resize the height down to 40 and clone it again and make this part of the box white and just resize it to 25 by 162. Change the vertical position or rather change the height to 41 and just slot it right in the middle middle of our table and our table should look like this since we don't have any fire features on this app what we'll do is we'll add our plant resize it to 36 by 51 and change the height to 20 in vertical position to 47 Change the primary color to a red color. Clone your plant and just make sure that they are more or less together. Okay, you can go ahead and clone them again and place your flower plant right on top of the previous one but resize it to 32 by 54 and then you can change the vertical position to 49 and make it into an orange color
and then 3d view should look like this since we don't have a fire feature you know this i think it looks slightly like fire from far so yeah now go to outdoor and add your thicker bushes resize the height to 120 and then just place them in front of your barrier pathway all right that brings us to an end of our three-part interior design series thank you so much for your support and please do not be afraid to ask any questions as this is a video requested by one of my subscribers so you can go ahead and ask any question and i'll try my best to respond as best and as efficient as i can and once again thank you so much for your likes shares and subscription i appreciate it a lot god bless